In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Schrodinger equation for the water molecule using a website. This website is webmo.net. Web so first, find working demo here. Click it. We will use the demo server with this username and password. And then log in. Okay, lowercase. Guest and guest. Log in. Uh, click this new job. Create new job. Uh, you'll see this periodic table. Click this table. Find oxygen. Click here. Now click clean up. Add hydrogens. Now we have a water molecule. Now we need to choose the computational chemistry software. Bottom left, choose engine. Uh, we'll choose Gaussian. It doesn't really matter. You can choose games, uh, MoPro, MoPac, NWCam. So right now, we're choosing Gaussian. Select server. There's only one server anyway. And then we have the software. We have the computer. Now we need to set the computational method by clicking this job options. Job name, H2O, how about H2O at CWU? Uh, we'll do the geometry optimization plus vibrational frequency. And this calculation will also tell us the internal energy, enthalpy, and Gibbs energy at the room temperature under 1 atm pressure. We will use the hachi fock theory. Essentially, it's the self-consistent field method using one determinant to describe the electrons in the water molecule. So we have a total of eight electrons on the oxygen atom, two electrons from the hydrogen atoms, so a total of 10 electrons. And we will use a 10 by 10 determinant to describe this 10 electron system. Basis set. The basis set is the set of mathematical functions used to describe the waves of the electrons. Uh, 6-31 GD basis set is a very decent basis set. It can get us fairly accurate data, but it takes longer to do the calculation with such a basis set than a minimal basis set. So we will use the minimal basis set, STO3G. The charge on water is zero. We'll choose singlet for water. That means there's zero unpaired electrons. The multiplicity is equal to 2s plus 1. s is the spin quantum number. And we have zero unpaired electrons, that means s equals zero. So 2s plus 1 is 1, it's a singlet. If you have one unpaired electron, the multiplicity can be doublet or quartet if you have three unpaired electrons. So now we have this set up. You can click advanced to set up other things like output mode, and you can calculate Raman intensities and many other things. Uh, 
we can submit the job right now so I'm gonna click this submit you see this h2o at CW here optimization plus vibrational frequency using the Gaussian software and this job is done in 6.5 second all right let's just click this water at CW you have molecule viewer right here this is the molecule atom 1 atom 2 atom 3 and we can rotate we can uh, make it bigger or smaller but we are more interested in the result so click this data viewer and what you need to do is you need to scroll down the window to see the calculated quantities all right so up there this looks empty but you need to scroll down and uh, let me show you this table first again this is how to fall calculation we used this STO 3G basis set this is the smallest basis set possible so we call this minimal basis set we did optimization followed by vibrational frequency calculation uh, this is a water molecule with a C2V point group again basis set uh, this is the Hachufok energy negative 74.9659 Hartree one Hartree is 2625.5 kilojoule per mole we have the zero point vibration energy here this ZPE stands for zero point energy but really it's zero point vibrational energy because zero point rotation energy is zero the zero point translational energy is negligible so over here this is the zero point vibrational energy and we have conditions here um, the internal energy enthalpy and Gibbs free energy these three numbers are obtained for the room temperature and one ATM pressure we also calculated the heat capacity under constant volume condition for the water molecule uh, what about CP well in this case we are looking at just one water molecule in the gas phase so CP equals CV plus R R is the gas constant we also calculated the entropy of water molecules in the gas phase and the dipole moment of a single water molecule this is the host name of the computer we used we used 6.5 seconds of CPU time Uh, get back to the molecule viewer and we can calculate the molecular orbitals here uh, let's click the first MO with the lowest MO energy you can see this is all constructive interference with the same color there's no nodal surface so essentially this is the s orbital of the oxygen atom interacting with the s orbitals of the hydrogen atoms in a constructive manner over here there's one nodal surface so really this is a 2p orbital okay with opposite faces here and here on oxygen interacting with the s orbitals of the hydrogen atoms so this is a steel sigma bond delocalized over the entire molecule another sigma bond over here this is a another p orbital of the oxygen interacting with the s orbitals on the two hydrogen atoms this is sigma bonding orbital here 
sigma bonding orbital here. How about this? We consider this lone pair. Uh, this MO is again a lone pair. So this is lone pair electrons. Well, this is also a 2p orbital on the oxygen. It's not interacting with any of the two hydrogen atoms. Now we are looking at the LUMO, a anti-bonding MO. You have this 2p orbital on this oxygen and you have this node here between this oxygen and the hydrogen on the left. There's another node here. So this is a antibody MO. Another antibody MO. So over here we're looking at one, two, three, four. These four are occupied valence orbitals accommodating eight valence electrons. Uh, this is the LUMO. Uh, this is LUMO plus one. So again, we're looking at four valence MOs and two unoccupied antibody MOs. Uh, we're not seeing this, uh, the core orbital of the oxygen, which is trivial. The core orbital is just the 1s orbital on the oxygen atom. Um, now we are done, but uh, I want to show you it's convenient to click this lookup to get the molecule information. Uh, H2O, it's water, but the UPAC name is Oxygen. Um, other name, water, uh, molar mass, this might be useful, so this is close. Uh, can we do ammonia? Of course, we can do ammonia. What we need to do is we click this job manager and then new job, create new job. This time I'm going to do everything fast. Nitrogen, clean up, add hydrogen. Oh, control Z if you make a mistake. Control Z is undo. Choose engine. This time we're going to use games. Same server, job options. This time, uh, ammonia. So I'm going to change the name to NH3 at CWU. I'm going to do a. Um, Okay, optimization plus vibrational frequency again. Uh, Hachi Fock. Uh, the smallest basis set. Again, a basis set is a set of mathematical functions used to describe the waves of electrons. Uh, this G stands for Gaussian. We're using Gaussian wave functions. Uh, STO, that means Slater typed. Um, orbitals, uh, zero charge. We're going to do singlet again. Uh, again, the multiplicity is 2s plus 1 uh, because there is zero unpaired electrons. We have a spin equals zero and 2s plus 1 is 1, so that's a singlet. Uh, let's submit the job. It's running. File name, optimization, vibrational frequency. We're using a different computational chemistry software. It took only 0.1 second. Click this job. Uh, data viewer. You see nothing, but you just scroll down to see this calculated quantities. Over here, we get the energy. Uh, we get the dipole moment. Um, RMS force is the gradient or energy first derivative. Oh, over here, uh, we are seeing this um, multiple optimization steps. So at step zero, that means the energy of the structure we entered. So we have this energy. And then since this is optimization calculation, in each step, supposedly the energy is lowered 
you know this is lower but sometimes you see energy oscillation and lowered again lower 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 eventually we get the optimized structure right here and this is the energy in atomic unit for this ammonia molecule one atomic unit is one heart tree and this one heart tree is 2625.5 kilojoule per mole and we have more information here we have the uh, vibrational frequency uh, these two are the um, degenerate um, NH stretching and we also have this frequency in oh I'm sorry this is rotational constants uh, because we're looking at a nonlinear molecule it can rotate about the x y and z axis these two are degenerate and this is the third one I think this one is the rotation about the axis that goes through this uh, um, nitrogen atom and then we have partial charges with partial negative charge on nitrogen and partial positive charges on hydrogen this makes sense we have bond order predicted here uh, usually it's not exactly one to those integer numbers and then we have vibrational frequencies in wave numbers uh, this three the first three are the stretching of NH bond these two are the bending motion that changes the bond angle uh, I think the last one is the change of the dihedral angle and you have infrared uh, intensity here uh, we didn't calculate Raman All right so and then we have more information about molecular orbitals uh, this one negative 15 heart tree is the 1s orbital of nitrogen uh, this is the core orbital that's why it has such a negative number uh, and then we have one two three four four negative numbers I'm guessing these four are occupied by the eight valence electrons and this one is the homo oh by the way occupancy here eight electrons valence electrons and then this is the lumo lumo plus one lumo plus one these two are degenerate orbitals these two are degenerate orbitals this is because of the symmetry of this molecule NH3 ammonia has a C3V point group. Um, we can take a look at the HOMO. So this is HOMO. And yeah, we can take a look at the LUMO. So this is LUMO. If you look at LUMO, we have three nodes one two three uh, lumo plus one again we see nodes here one two three but this node comes from the 2p orbital of nitrogen uh, another lumo plus one there's one nodal surface here there's another nodal surface here 